Hi boys and girls, it is Miss Sosha here. Um, this week for our assignment, we are working on a comic strip. In your Schoology folder, there's some information about an artist named Roy Lichtenstein, and he was an artist who painted big pictures to look like comic strips. So comic strips used to appear in newspapers, and I know when I was a little girl that Sunday comics were the best because they were printed in color and they were usually the biggest. We even used to wrap presents in the Sunday funny pages, the comic strips. That's not quite as popular as it used to be because not as many people get the newspaper, but you can still find comic strips online or if you do go get a newspaper. Um, cartoons like Peanuts, Charlie Brown and Snoopy, they started off in the newspaper. And we even have comic books like Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. They all started as comic books. So comic usually means funny, but in this sense, it also means telling stories mostly with pictures. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna think of your own comic strip and you are gonna tell a quick little story in a comic strip form. So what I did was I took a plain white piece of paper out of the printer and I folded it a few times to give me some boxes. Now I folded it and made six boxes. You don't have to have this many. You can make them smaller or bigger, whatever works for you. And you're gonna think of some characters. Your characters could be people, they could be aliens. I know when I was in middle school, I had a comic strip I made up about a potato. So it could be a potato, really easy shape to draw. I drew two that kind of reminded me of my daughters. And you also wanna think about how they're gonna express themselves. So if they are thinking and you can't hear what they're saying, you're gonna make a thought bubble, which is this kind of cloud shape. So my cat has a thought bubble. If you're gonna have them talk, you might make this oval shape or a um, rounded shape with kind of a little tail on the bottom. That is a speech bubble. So you're also gonna think about how to draw people so they look kind of funny. So one thing I like to do is I like to exaggerate the eyes. So for example, if I was just doing someone's face down here, I might do an oval or a circle and then some big oval shaped eyes. And I could exaggerate their eyelids or eyelashes, make them look kind of silly. And nose, I can do kind of like an upside down question mark shape. For mouth, if they're talking, you might want to do a circle or an oval, or I like to do a smile and then kind of a little tail line there because it kind of makes it look like their mouth is open. Ears, just really simple ovals. And then however you think their hair is. So for these two girls, I did Brooklyn's pigtails and then Katie has these curls on top. So I just did little swirly lines there and then curls. And then you want a neck and then curved lines for a shoulder. So that's a really simple way to just do someone as a cartoon from the shoulders up. And then you can think about how to do bodies. So think about what they might be getting into, what they might be talking about. They could be telling a joke or they could be telling something about their lives. And then color it in. Most comic books and comic strips are colored with either watercolor paint or markers. So this is a great time for you to use markers and make those colors look really bright and crisp and color them really neatly. So boys and girls, I'm excited to see what kind of comic strips you come up with. I'm excited to see maybe if there are some comics that you enjoy reading or that you look forward to. Maybe you like to read Spider-Man or maybe you like to see some comic strips that are in the newspaper. Um, and then I wanna see your comic strip. So in our um, fourth grade flip grid, I want you to upload a copy of your comic strip and tell us what's going on. So can't wait to see what you guys make. I miss you and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.